12 this year, 2009, has been absolutely fascinating in that we've had two people qualified who normally you wouldn't expect to see in the mix. I wish they'd come more often, Dave Hesper and Colin Daffin. But consequently, what it's done, it's made places in the final uh, in December in Wakefield uh, basically much more difficult to assume. If you look around, we're a third of the way through the season, and you can see a few players who, uh, wow, would grace any final. Uh, anyway, let's see what happens. Uh, we've got to go 12 minutes on questions. Slightly different to what you're accustomed to if you watch a few Q12s is that uh, some of the early questions are going to be a little bit easier this time round than what we've been used to asking in order to get people a few questions at the back. Round one of Q12, 12 minutes of questions, two points of correct answer, one away for an incorrect, oh, well, no, two points of correct answer, half your points away for an incorrect interruption. That means that the more points you've got, the higher the jeopardy of taking a gamble. So good luck, everybody. You've got 12 minutes. You've got Mike McPartland scoring. I presume you can see my screen in there, can't you? Mike, we're going. Oh, come on, come on. JG Farrell, JM Kutze, Peter Carey, and Hilary Mantel are. Dave oh, Booker Prize. Winners of the Man Booker Prize. Prompt. South African winners of the Man Booker Prize. No, I'm not going to give you that. Clive. Not foreign winners of the Booker uh, Tony. Tony. They've won it twice. Two points to Tony. And Hilary Mantel, out of the 2018, the only dual award winners, and most significantly, what? Don't I don't know. Who? Who was the head architect of the new Wembley Stadium? Dave. Norman Foster. Is correct. Yes. What is the art of carving marine animals' bones? Ashton. Scrimshaw. Scrimshaw is correct. I like the way you spell your name. <laughs> Idiot. The only exclusive, exclusively freshwater seal, sometimes called the Nerpa, is found in which Russian? Like Barkel is correct. Affirmative. Kipper was a nickname given to which English cricket captain? Mike. My guy. Lee. Douglas Jarvie. Ashton. Reeve. No, it's Colin Cowdery. Let's move along. Inconceivable from 1999. Ashton. Penalty. Ben Allen is correct, there were three more, two more books. Dead Famous and High Society were all written by who? Which 17th century book introduces Mr. World Lee? Gilgan's Progress. Yeah. You knew that straight away, didn't you? Which monarch succeeded George IV? Simon. William IV. Absolutely correct, Amundo. Bingo. In which Speyside town is the Glenfiddich district Lee? Oh. Have you I'm afraid you lose half your points, Lee. We're going to Ashton. Grand time on Spain. No, and you lose half your points as well, which is a kind of great pity for you, not for everybody else, is the Glenfiddich Distillery. Simon. Dufftown. Dufftown is correct. Who played Enrico Salvatore Razzo Grizzo in John Schleifen? Steve Lacey. Is that Hoffman? Hoffman's yeah, correct. Is it is it too Hoffman? No. Yeah, come on. Off from a rush. In the Black Adder episode, Private Plane, who played the Red Baron and Vivian? Dave? Uh, Rick Mayer. No, Ashton. Hey, Aiden. Aiden and Vivian in yeah, the sure. young ones. Absolutely. <laughs> Since 1869, what is the required number of sitting justices that make up the US Supreme Court? Dave. Seven. Michael. Sixteen. Tony. Fifteen. Simon. Nine. Guess. Simon. Nine points. Nine. Bingo. Two points. Look. No. Next one. Points. What do you say, please? Estoril is a venue. Yeah. Lee. Portugal. Is correct. Oh, Portugal. 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 Oh, Who was replaced? by Jonathan Ross in 1999 as present That's Mike shit. L. No, it's like it, it? Minus Mike L. Uh, I can't be minus. Of BBC TV. Well, oh, well. Uh, Barry Norman. Barry Norman is correct. Yeah, I am Hui Bawe. Three countries, three countries with a unique first letter in their name are found on which peninsula? Lee. 
red ink potential. The red ink potential is worth two points. Spot on. Yes. Who wrote the poem? Piers Plowman. It's Tony. Langland. Langland is correct. Repealed by the Criminal Law Act of 1967, which Act of Parliament of Great Britain authorised local authorities to declare any group of 12 or more people to be unlawfully... Dave, the right, act. the right act is correct. I'm not going to read it to you. Dane, D-A-N-A-E, visited by Zeus in a shower of gold with the mother of which... Uh, Will? Perseus. That's correct. Which Greek hero is who slayed the producer? Packham's Triumph. Black Worcester and Conference are all cultivated. Lee! Yeah. Pear. Pear is correct. Nice pear. Nice melons. Me too. The brightest star in the dog sky, Alpha Canis. Uh, Simon? Sirius. Alpha Canis. Oh. Oh. What Alpha. other name? It's Sirius, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Rene Velweger in Deceiver, aka Liar in the UK. Elizabeth Shue in Leaving Las Vegas. Jamie Lee Curtis in Latone. Prostitutes? Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, Norman, where were you? Uh, which club did Mario Balotelli join in 2010? Mike Leaves. Manchester City. It's correct, you've got Get two in. points. Get in there. The Hidden World, released in 2019, is the third instalment. Michael. Oh, the deal. Of which film franchise? Wrong. Of... Come on. Finished? Oh, that's finished. Yeah. The Hidden World, released in 2019, is the third installment of which film franchise? It's How to Train Your Dragon. <laughs> Woo! Did I lose a point then? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You didn't lose a point, you lost half your points. Yes. Maybe fun. Name either of the code words in the NATO phonetic alphabet that might be used to describe an imaging procedure that would normally be undergone in a hospital. Mike L. X-ray. Yeah, X. Yeah. Decent. Patsy Palmer. Alec Kingston, Letitia Dean, and Mark Savage, who played Norman Gripper Stebson, have all appeared. Ashton. Grange Hill. is correct. Is that like your school? We're about halfway Absolutely. through. <laughs> We're at the halfway point, just after halfway. Simon's looking good on eight points, Will on four, Tony on six, Ashton on six, Dave on three, Lee on seven, Mickey on three. Mickey. Uh, Steve. Lacey, you're on two, but you always kind of keep well, your powder dry till the end. <laughs> Clive on two, Norman on zero. Next question. In which country is the Jaffna Peninsula? Tony? Iran. No, Lee. Oh, Israel? No, no nothing no. away, nothing away. Steve Lacey? No, I was going to say Israel. Norman? Sri Lanka. Yes, Sri Lanka oh, is correct. That's Lee, where were you on that side of where we are? <laughs> Which singer's account was the first to exceed 100 million followers on Twitter? Ashton? Lady Gaga? No, it wasn't uh, Lady Gaga, nothing away. Steve Lacey? Nothing away. Katy Perry is correct. I was waiting to do it. Steve Lacey. Steve Lacey. <laughs> Which bird is able to exceed 321.8 kilometres or 200 miles per hour in its hunt? Mike Lee's. It's correct. Got Two it. points for Mike Lee's. The greatest airspeed velocity. They call me Mr. Tibbs with a sequel to which Dave? In the Heat of the Night. In the Heat of the Night is absolutely <laughs> right. Anglophobia is the fear of which Lee? The English. English. The English, the English are best. Name the Kenyan long distance record holder who set the initial female world record for the women's marathon and still holds 25 and 30k records as of May 2019. And organise a refugee team at the 2016 Olympics. Uh, Michael. Kips. Tony. Mayor Ma Ma Katan. Dave. I've got Mayor Katan as well. No, uh, 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 Ashton. Sure. No, it's Larupe. Tegla Larupe. How old was Karen Brady when she became managing director at Birmingham? At what age did Queen's called Elizabeth accede to the English throne? Norman. 25. It's correct. Yeah. Um, right, how many years separate Catherine Zeta Jones and Michael Douglas? Right, Full name, please. This was for you, Michael. Which NHL team won the Stanley Cup in 1995, 2000, 2003 after having moved from Denver to the Garden State in 1992? Ashton. New Jersey Devils. It's correct. Yeah. <laughs> Making 232 appearances for Everton between 1966 and 1974, along with two goals in six games for England, who managed the Toffees to their FA Cup and Charity Shield wins in 1990? Will? 
Two more. Two more. Two more. Joe Rowland to correct answer. Yeah, no, Next question coming up. Good luck, everybody. Come along, Greg. First held in 1912, screened alternately between the BBC and ITV between 1960 and 2010. Which charity gala is now exclusive to ITV, who screen it in each November? Aston. The Royal Variety. The Royal Variety right. performance oh. is absolutely right. Who were the objectives pursued by Frank Hammer and Manly Gold, played by Kevin Costner and Woody Harrelson in the 2019 Netflix film Highwaymen? Tony. Bonnie and Clyde. Bonnie and Clyde. Two points for Tony. Good luck, everybody else. Which chef is the uncle of DJ Judge Jules and has regularly Dave? Rick Stein. How did I know you were going to get that? Two points for Dave, Bill. Next question, all on green. Name the Royal Equity, who was the only fatality in the Avalanche at Clusters in 1988 involving Prince Charles. His name was Hugh Lindsay. One to Charlie. Charlie's in the lead. Going to qualify. Who reached number one in the UK in 1975 with a parody of Tammy Wynette's 1968 Steve Lacey? It is D I V O R C E. You love the people breath. What is. Uh, name the son of Odin in North mythology who slayed the wolf responsible for his father's death. Mike L. Loki. No. It's Vida. Please tell me. What is the second most abundant mineral in Earth's continental crust behind feldspar? Mike L. Nickel. No. Shit. Lee. Quartz. Quartz is correct. Give Lee ah. two points. Stop. We're going to stop for a chunk. Time check after the next question. Which Finnish defender made 318 appearances for Liverpool between 1999 and days? Sammy Hippie. Sammy Hippie is correct. Let's stop the clock and have a look at what's going on. Two minutes to go exactly. <sighs> two minutes to go exactly. In the green zone, Ashton on 10, Tony on 8. Simon on 8, Will on 6, Steve on 6, Dave on 9, Lee on 11, Mickey. Why, why am I on the... I should be on green, so Yeah, you're on right. Yeah, 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 because we've got an 8 to go through. Norman and Clive, it's an unlucky spot that. It's haunted, I guess, where you two are sitting. Okay, what are we looking at here? Some losing points. There's going to be some points lost, I think, over the next two minutes. I hope so, anyway. Let's see what happens. Let's go. Theogony and Works and Days are works by which? Clive? Hesiod. Hesiod is correct. <laughs> Talk about up your street. How is Figaro described in the title of the... Steve Lacey. Barbara Two points, Steve Lacey. Yeah. A rabbit called Dylan and Ermin through the crack. Michael L. As your Correct. Which sportsman and occasional movie actor was christened Lou Alcindor or Alkindor? Abdul Kabir. I nearly. Pan. Kabir. Kabir. Well, I'm buzzing if he's wrong. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll, yeah. Kareem Ellen. Next question. Two points. Only just. You always won. What was the name of the dog that got Princess Anne a criminal record? It was Dotty. Next one. What was comedian Don Fletcher's married surname from 1984? Simon. Henry. Henry is correct. The big green engine. Give any year during the life of the Venetian artist Tim Toretto. Uh, Michael. 1584. Yes. Get in! Decent. Please tell me. Which country Woo! first won the Eurovision Song Contest in 1967? Five. United Kingdom. We did. Yes, <laughs> we team up with Jan Hammer and Billboard number one. Dave. Uh, oh, what about cheating? 30 what seconds. scores? 30 seconds. Put a break on the, on the, the scoreboard there. What were the years for Tintoretto, by the way? That's you correct. were 10 years off his death. He died in 1594. I was going to go 1600s as well. I got that. I anyway, let's have a look at this. We've got uh, Ashton on 10. It's, like, it's yeah, all up in the air, isn't it? It really is wide open. Is it close? Anybody could win. If anybody goes half, you're going to be out probably. Yeah, what's, what's the cutoff? Uh, what's the score? The, score? the cutoff score, the bottom three are on it's four, on six, eight, and eight. That means if you half your score, you will be below eight and you will drop immediately into so the bottom the three. Point. We're only losing two. Yeah, only two are going out. I'm best of the two now. Yeah. Yeah. You ready? How long to go? 26 seconds. 26 seconds to go. Who reached number four in 2000 with Deeper Shade of Blue? Tony. Steps. Steps is correct. Steps. Two points. 
What, what is the surname of Alfred in the Batman stories? Clive. Pennyworth. Pennyworth is correct. Please tell me, what name is given, generally given to a baby kangaroo? Simon. Joey. Joey is correct. Please tell me, who are the UK number 12 with diamond lights in 1987? Norman. Time's up, Tony. Shardy. Oh. Tony, we haven't finished the question. Nothing away. Nothing, nothing away. away. Oh, wait a minute. Did you finish the question or not? No. I'd finished the question, right. nothing away. No, you said down the line, you're going. Well, I'm, I'm uh, going the question was finished, so basically at the end of the quiz, we've got Ashton to go on. Is somebody not giving the red hands? No. no. Of them all. Yeah. I, at that oh. stage, I couldn't let you delay over it. I really couldn't. I knew it. Uh, and uh, I'm sure you all hate me, which is good. You wouldn't imagine. And we all love imagine. Norman, which is good. But at that stage, there is no room for any oh, delay. Down in lights. So. so oh, we're, is it down in lights? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let me let me read the results out, please, folks, and you can take. Down in lights. How about? I thought it was really the seven. Ashton. Tony, who, we, we, we're losing two people on the lower scores here, despite the colours being pink and stuff. So give Norman a little round of applause, and even he wouldn't have gotten it because he'd been on six. Will, you were on six. Uh, Steve, you get through on eight, as is your one. That's the closest finish we've ever had, and nobody's finishing on zero. We only need to say that six points is enough to get through. Now it's officially not. Great performance from you, lad. We got through a grand total of 56 questions, that's a record. So thank you very much and welcome to the way through. Coming up soon, round two. <laughs> I ask questions with six clues. Each clue becomes incrementally worth one more than the last key, uh, one less than the last clue. So if you get on the first clue, it's worth six points, second clue, five points, etc. Equally, uh, if you get it wrong, you lose that amount of points. The question is always alive. Uh, Who to go through? Aston, Norman. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Dave Bill. Oi. It's random. Anyone will see. We'll see. We'll Here we go. Good luck. Ridiculous. Sean Hopper, Bill Gibson, and for five points, Johnny Collar have been ever-present members since 1979 of which band? For four points, it's been said. Their early work was a little too new way for my taste, but in 83, I really think they came into their own, both commercially and artistically. The whole album is a clip. It's Michael. Genesis. American no, Psycho. Minus four. I really think they came into their own, both commercially and artistically. The whole album is a crisp clear sound, and a new sheen of consummate professionalism that really gives the songs a big boost. He'd be compared to Elvis oh, Costello, oh. but I think they have a far more bitter, cynical set of humour. For three ah. points, in 87 they released this, sure. Sure. their most accomplished album. Two, I think their undisputed masterpiece is Hip To Be Square, a song so catchy that Dave... Here we lose the news, yeah. Yep. American Psycho! You fucking don't need to shout out in the middle where there's no one. Sorry, I'm sorry. Try getting an innovation at the Dorsey now, you stupid fucking bastard. Explode <laughs> 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 this. Good luck, everybody. Sorry. Donald Trump, for six points, wished to build a golf course on top of Mount Sirvent, S R D with a cross on the top. For five points, a 415 metre hill that overlooks which city. For four points, heavily bombarded with the Homeland War of the early 1990s. For three points, this World Heritage Site has two kilometres of unbroken medieval walls. For two points, eight days. Playing the man at Dubrovnik. You played the man absolutely correctly there. <laughs> King, uh, Sorry, the newest locations that have been able to double up in King's Landing and Game of Thrones, what is the southernmost city in Croatia. Then, six points, what was first brewed to commemorate the visit of Winston Churchill in that? Ashton. Uh, Oh, um, special room. Six points. Was there a touch of playing the man there as well, do you think? <laughs> Who was born on the second floor of a commercial building in Topeka, Illinois, the younger son of Nell Clyde, Nee Wilson, and Jack? Not Jimmy Jack's surname, of course. For five points, an economics graduate at Eureka College, Illinois. For four points, a sportscaster, but became an actor in 1937. For three points, Reagan, John Hinckley's gift to Jody Foster was an assassination attempt upon this man. <laughs> became governor of California. Oh, three points is useful. This quiz, isn't it, Michael? Four, four points. Yeah. Starting 
with everybody lies and finishing with for five points everybody dies for four points teardrop by massive attack provided the theme to which tv program for three points in the uk you could reasonably expect to shout it once every dave house Thank you for not making me say 45 quadrillion, 295 trillion, 673 billion, 964 million, 464 thousand, 800 games after 15 balls. That's your odds. Okay, next Good one. Answer. The circular bar bar. How many was that, sorry? That was for three points, I believe. Three. Do you want me to check on that for you? Three. Oh, yeah, an easy, easy three. Yeah, you shout, you got it on shout. Shout. Please, <laughs> do you like this one? <laughs> not Michael McPartland. Despite appearing in pantomime with celebrities such as Lionel Blair and Dick Emery, of course, a couple of feathers in your cap there, a small part in the 1973 film fast, Not Now Darling, and appearing in episodes of The Avengers and Are You Being Served? For five points, whose sole major accolade during his career was a short 1969 run as British heavy middleweight champion, having defeated Burt Royal? For four points, his 1985 autobiography, You Grunt, I'll Grow, Reveal the secrets of the squared circle, including referees carrying razor blades to Nick Fighters earlobes. Tell him. Jackie Powell. Mr. TV. Absolutely. I think, come on, come on, be generous. Great answer. Yeah, uh, bloody well. Uh, to, to satisfy the bloodlust of the frenzied crowd of mostly elderly women. Yeah. Michael, Jackie Powell. <laughs> Which number? Now that's what I call music, was released on the 18th of November 1996. Let's have a look at what these people are thinking. They're in the night palace most of them, I think, don't you? Mm -hmm. For five points, how many stars were there on the flag of the USA at the end of the American Civil War? For four points, how old was Mozart when he died? Here we go, Mike Lee. Uh, no, 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 actually, Mike Lee, yes. Yeah. Five. What? 35? No. 756, 791. He was, he's 35. No. Okay, he was, sir. Yes. Come on, he can't be that. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I've realised I don't have to rush on these. I'm still in that. Yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Smell the roses, people. Uh, we're on question six. I'll read you the scores after this. Born the 27th of May 1975. His age is 43. Till tomorrow. In 2000, he married for five points Juliet <coughs> Norton. In June 2003, he was for four points awarded the MBE in the Queen's Birthday Honours and was named the most influential person in the UK hospitality industry when he topped the inaugural cater research cop.com 100 in May 2005. Simon. Jamie Oliver. How could you have been there? Good shout. No, it's a good shout. Yeah, I pressed press it. Uh, yep, it is him. Yeah, of course. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was question eight. Yeah. That was question eight. So, go on, you tell us, Michael. So, eight questions gone. Currently qualifying is Dave on eight, Nash on six. And on four points, we have Tony, Clive, and Simon. Uh, Steve and Leo on zero, and Michael has uh, scrambled back to zero as well. So, we've got six people in the danger zone, but it's not a very deep danger zone. In fact, it's an extraordinarily shallow danger zone, <laughs> which anybody could fall in. <coughs> Good luck with, let's make sure we've got four questions left. Reset. One, two, three, four. Yeah, Question number nine. Is he Thank you. Which of the United States has its lowest point at just over a kilometre above sea level? In its entirety, it's higher Lee. Colorado. It's higher than any part of England by 32 metres. It's Colorado. Good answer. <laughs> Lee, do you want to go to the bar now? <laughs> Uh, Lee's, a, Lee's only on like six. It's a very, very small pool. Three to go. Which town was the birthplace of Peggy Ashcroft, David Lee, and Mark Butcher? For five points, with a population of 52,000 in the 2011 census, 
for four points. In Surrey, Addiscombe and Broad Green Awards for three points. The home of London's first international airport for two points. Where did a tram crash? Where did a tram crash in London result in multiple calories? That was definitely for three points. Good luck. For six points, which novel? Written by Michael Blake. For five points, told of John Dunbar. For four points, whose theme by John. Oh, think later. Dances with Wolves. That's the one. That's going to get it. Four points, Steve. Shake away. Steve on four points. Simon on four points. Tony on four points. Ashton 6, Dave 8, Clive 7, Lee 6. Lee and Ashton, you must be crapping yourselves here because there's three people yeah, that need a two point to catch up with you on a three point to go in front. Michael Blake will just sit Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lee, on your back, son. I believe this is the last question. Presently considered a clade called Anthophila, P-H-I-L-A, for five points, there are over 16,000 known species of what in seven recognised biological families? For four points, Nick Cage has pleaded not to have them introduced during a bout of melisophobia, or for three... Bees. The bees? The bees? The bees are in my eyes! <laughs> that was, yes, because I didn't get to apiphobia for three. So until we get four, we can see if we look at the results that Tony has eight, Dave has eight, Simon has, Clive has seven. You're all through. Mike Lees is out. Steve Lacey is out. Simon is out. <laughs> Lee Warburton and Ashton Bastard <laughs> have got a tie break on six. The bees are in my eyes. So, are you ready, Lee? What kind of question is it? Is Ashton, it six it's just a straight yeah. question from the tail end of Q12 round one. We go to the next question that we did not ask. So, given that you both know that these questions are getting shorter in length, if you get it wrong on an interruption, you will be out. Even if the other person's pressure gets it wrong, the first person pressed wrong on an interruption will be out. On what does the empennage, E-M-P-E-N-A-G-E, -E, form the tail? Lee. An airplane. You're through. Oh. Get out! Get out! Get out of here! <laughs> well done, Lee. So uh, we've got the final between Tony, Dave, Clive, and Lee. Oh my goodness, how exciting is this? <laughs>
Ended on bees. Ended on bees. So, what mark can we go with? But good luck, everybody. Used to express approval when a performer or other person has done something well. What is the second word, Dave? Bravo. In the International Radio Phone Telephonic <laughs> Spelling Alphabet, representing the letter B. Bravo is correct. How much have you got on him, Master? Two questions. Reset, please. The Two. title. I don't think I should reset for you. The title of which Shakespeare play employs almost Two words used in the 26th, Dave. Romeo and Juliet? Yeah, in the Venetic alphabet, it's a double T or Juliet. Strange but true. Who sat? Lee. That's right. No. no. Very unlucky. No. Hey. Hang on, hang on. Tony's gone as well. It's one or two, is that what you Tony! I know what he's going to say. Four pennies. No. Yeah, oh, no. I've got another answer, so alright. It's a Romeo one then. Who sang, Cos you were Romeo, I was a scarlet letter, and my daddy said stay away from Juliet, but you were everything to me, I was begging you please don't go. In Love Story, her first major day. Taylor Swift. You like that landing in your little yeah. land, don't you? Among the most expensive animal products consumed by humans, especially prized in China. What do Swifts and Swiftlets notably make out of solid leaf? That's nest. Yes, nest. Yeah, nest. Come on. That's a nod of approval there. No. Means a lot. Yeah. CJ nod. Born the soup. Well, bird's nest soup. Born the 6th of February 1945 at Nine Mile, St Anne Parish, British Jamaica. Died only 36 years later in Miami, yes, Lee. Oh, Marley. Robert Nestor. Nestor. Oh, very good. Go on, Sir Nestor. We were all in there with the audience. Reset. Yeah. Yeah. What breed of, was the dog named after Bob Marley in the book and film? Marley and me. Tony. Great Dane. No, but nothing in the way, Clive. Labrador. A Labrador, yeah. Golden Labrador specifically, but yes. Golden Labrador retriever, bloody, 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 bloody. What is the biggest island portion of Canada's most easterly Tony? Newfoundland. Yeah, for the second time today, Newfoundland creeps in the mix. Correct him on you. Even though you won't see it on this. Not to be confused with Newfoundland. The first branch of what store opened in December 1990 in the Octagon Centre at Burton upon Trent? A manager turnover of £13,000, selling about 13,000 items. Dave. Poundland. Did you work that out with the maths? The maths is there. Yeah. The yeah. maths was all there. Yeah. yeah. New Poundland. New pound land, oh my oh, god. Oh, come on. That's really good like that. <laughs> Other than the Queen. Oh, you had your chance. Who is the only person depicted on a British one pound note since decimalisation? Dave, I'm sorry, Clive, you were so close, but I'm looking at you. Uh, basically, that is almost a record close press of 1 9 to 56 oh, milliseconds. Isaac Newton? Yeah. Isaac Newton's your man. Um, <coughs> you were so far behind, sorry, sorry I've just spat all over the <laughs> keyboard. Which three SI units are composed to define a Newton? Go on, you have a guess, it's free now. Go on, Clive. Force, mass, energy. Uh, no, 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 Dave. Kilogram, second, metre. Yes, kilogram metre and second square. Kilogram metre per second square. Dave on six half with there, Lee's on two but with one life down. Uh, Tony and Clive are both on one, Tony's lost a life. Exerting on average about one newton of force. Spartan, Sarpareil and Sweet Tango are examples of cultivars of which fruit that can be found in a strudel? Lee. Apple. Yeah, that's one with newton, wasn't it? <laughs> Mm. Oh, Joey Slotnick, Jorge Garcia, 
Josh Gad and Seth Rogen have all played which co-founder of Apple Computers? Lee. Steve Jobs. No, nope. and that's a life yeah, away. No. Tony. Um, <laughs> no. That's a life Steve, away. You're the Steve. Yeah. That's what I meant. You're the Steve. Oh, I'm the Steve. Oh, get him. Kid. Check it out. Two lives gone, Sonny. Yeah. Things are going nicely for you here, mate. I have got an audience as well here. Not anyone I've seen him. Let's go. First staged on Broadway in 2011, in which musical did Josh Gad originate the role of Elder Cunningham? Tony. I'm going to say Hamilton. Dave. Book him on. Elder Cunningham. Elder. Absolutely. Up to eight points, Dave. Uh, the Disney movie Frozen, Avenue Q, and The Book of Mormon all contain music by which he got awardee. <coughs> uh, it's Dave. Lumon Memoranda. No, <laughs> I can see where you're coming from. <laughs> uh, it's uh, Tony first. Henken. Who? Henken. I think you're trying to say Menken there, Menken, right? yeah. no. Yeah. Clive. That's what I was going to say, Menken. No. It's Bobby Lopez, Robert oh, Lopez. Oh, yeah. uh, he wrote yeah. Frozen with his wife. And... Next one. Would you have got it, Matt, please? Yeah. Wait, I'll give the answer out, yeah. <laughs> what does the E in EGOT represent? Tell me. Emmy. Correct. Correct him, Dave Bill's new nickname is Powder Dry. Oh, man, Yeah, I know. But, uh, anyway. On which Yorkshire moor is the 1,084 foot tall 330.4 Dave Bill? Emily Moor. How far is that away from About my three room? miles from our house. Yes. Your Absolutely. Kids are haunted by it, I should imagine. Emily Moor Master, the uh, Which began. Uh, Transmitting, so it's 184 foot tall, 334.4 meters. Uh, your United Kingdom's tallest freestanding structure. The new structure is a few feet lower, I believe. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, which structure, with almost the same vertical dimensions as the Emily Moore transmitter, its tip being only six meters lower, its top platform being a mere two meters higher, is the world's most visited paid monument? Dave. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah, almost identical they are Absolutely. in terms of height. Ten points. Uh, what the rest got between them? A mere six between them. I wish I had a camera on Ashton Davis now. He looks like Mrs. Doyle when <laughs> she just guessed Todd Uxia's name after two and a half hours. <laughs> name the con artist who, in 1925, Sold the Eiffel Tower for scrap metal twice. Lustig? It is Lustig. It's Victor Lustig. Correct him, Andy. It's much easier when you read a minute. Who's the Batman of Gerald Cadman, also known as the Fighting Coward, who first appeared in Victor 625? Time's up. Smith. Mm. Tom Smith. I thought somebody might have done it. Smith. Michael McPartland never lets a Smith a Smith. Yeah, he's Jones, that's it. Yeah, I'm going to get Jones. Yeah, his name was Tommy Smith. Tom or Tom Smith. According to Albion British Comics Database Wiki, Gerald Cadman, the victor, was regarded as a model officer in the British Army, whilst he was actually a ruthless money grubbing coward who would do anything to avoid Richter himself. Pretty clearly modelled on the hero of which set of novels by Clive Flashman. Flashman must be. Uh, of which yes. member of the Stockport Quiz League? Ashton Davis. Uh, friends, that uh, well. uh, yeah, Harry, uh, Harry Flashman. Wonderful writing. I think, anyway. Of which country was Queen Ranalova the first, one of the Harry Flashman's Flash Harry's numerous con conquests, the Queen, for a large part of the 19th century. 
Dave, Sri Lanka. Tony, Iraq. Lee, Russia. Clive, country. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Tonga. It's Madagascar. Ranavalona. I thought that would come from. Sounds like Navratilova, what you say. Oh, yeah. Ranavalona. Country. <laughs> if Madagascar is the fourth largest island in the world, name either island that bracket it as the third. Lee. New Guinea. I'm afraid um, not. not so you yeah, moved all the way over there to get knocked out. But right, you can, you can go all together now. Give Lee a little no. Yeah. 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 Either island that bracketed as the third and fifth largest. Tell me. Um, Indonesia. <laughs> Dave. Baffin Island. Number no. Five. Yeah. And Borneo was number three. Borneo was number three. Yeah. Let's yeah. point stairs yeah. on the way. Here we go. Which city? Oh Lee, you're gonna miss this one. Which city of less than eight thousand people on Baffin Island was formerly called Frobisher Bay and is now the capital? Nunavut. Nope. Lose a life. And is now the capital of Nunavut territory. Uh, what's it called? Equaluate. Give any year in the life of the Altoft born English seaman and privateer who made three voyages to the New World looking for the Northwest Passage, Sir Martin Frobisher. Also, Tony. <laughs> no, I have finished the question. 1623. Yeah. Dave. 1682. No. Glad you have a. 1580. Yep. Yeah, Spanish Armada kind of. Yeah. He died basically very similar to uh, Mike's question in the Lightspeed Quiz. 1594, he died. Dying two weeks after Martin Frobisher in 1594, another one. Which Flemish German cartographer is renowned for. Dave. Mercator. Mercator is correct. Which puts you on 12. If you could just hang on one minute, because I know the next question, people would shout at me for asking it, but we'll give David out of applause. Yeah. Does a plane fly east or west of the North Pole on the shortest great circle route between London and Los Angeles? Tell me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. Yes. No, because it can no. only fly south. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad that question didn't do a little quick, but it would have been awful.